Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 16 of Football Manager 20. This is Home on the Range Rovers, our Forest Green save. Put up a tweet yesterday. Now, you won't see this for probably another week. Uh, this, I think, is going up Wednesday. I'm recording it on uh, Saturday. Uh, so, I'm going out of town for a couple of days. Just found out my mom's uh, being put in a nursing home. So, uh, going up to help my dad and, uh, and, and see her and everything else. Um, but, uh, anyway... Uh, so trying to, you know, a couple episodes ahead. And this is what I typically do now since I've come back with the computer. I usually do all my recording and uploading over the weekend. And then I don't have to, you know, I don't deal with the channel at all except for answering, you know, comments or, or replies to things uh, during the week. Uh, or, you know, it limits how much I have to render and upload during the week to, you know, one or two episodes. Um, so, you know, but that's just because that's when I have my time. Uh, so I do get a few episodes ahead, but I've always done that. Um, so anyway, I got a, a job offer, uh, not a job offer, but I got an interview request from Fleetwood yesterday while I was playing ahead uh, dear, through this stretch here, and uh, I just turned it down. Um, you know, I know you guys have said make it a one-team save, but I think if, if the right job came along... You know, we'd have to look at it. I think that would be just crazy not to do that. I mean, I know you can force it to be a one-team save, and we, we may do that, but um, if that ever happens, I think what I'll do is I'll throw it out on Twitter and let you guys uh, comment away on Twitter. Uh, you know, hey, I, I've got a you know job interview possibility. And if it's a really big team or a good opportunity, I may do the job interview and then – if I get the offer, then I'll I'll put it out to you guys. So make sure you're following me over on Twitter. Links in the description uh, to get updates. Uh, I don't do a lot on Twitter, but I you know I do I do uh, comment on there periodically. And that's something I will start doing is uh, when something like that happens in the save, we'll put it out on Twitter so you guys can be up to the minute on that. Uh, might be some spoiler alert type stuff, but you know it, in a job situation, I just think. You know, I'll throw it out to you guys. So, but the goal the goal right now is to keep this a single team save because you guys were pretty clear that's what you wanted. But it's just hard for me to turn down jobs when they come because I'm so used to doing journeyman's. And we were in a journeyman save, right, when my computer crapped out. So anyway, all right, where are we at? Well, after the last episode, we played uh, Colchester, beat them 1-0, Kai Kennedy with the goal, Coventry, we beat 4-1, to one. Marin Pilge uh, with a goal, George Williams with a goal, and Harvey White with a nine-minute brace. He looked really good in that game. Uh, Borum Wood, this is the uh, FA Cup second round. We did advance 2-1. to one. I actually played a pretty heavily rotated squad in this one, uh, but Farron Rawson, our center back, got a brace. Uh, both set pieces, uh, one corner, one set piece, uh, two to one win. So we kind of lucked out there a little bit. Millwall, we beat 2 0. Sigurd Gronley with the early goal, and Aaron Collins with a stoppage time goal. Doncaster, we just destroyed 5 to 1. Aaron Collins, a 15 minute hat trick. Thank you very much. Uh, Elliot Freer and Farron Rawson late in the game. Well, in the second half. Uh, Wimbledon, we beat 5-2. Rawson, Collins with goals. Harvey White with another brace. And Pills with another goal. Uh, MK Dons, we clean sheeted 2-0. Collins and Rawson back on the score sheet. Portsmouth, 3-1. Kai Kennedy gets the goal again. Rawson and White back on the scoring sheet as well. Pretty consistent performances there. And Burton, a 4-0 dismantling. Tyreek Backinson, uh, you saw him, I think you saw him last episode, if I remember correctly, uh, against Stevenage and Dover. We brought him in. But uh, he scored in the third minute, and then Ashley Hunter with a hat trick. Uh, so very good game for him. Taking a look at the squad and taking a look at the goals. Uh, 18 for Collins in 28, 11 in 13 for Hunter. Uh, so both of those guys scoring well. Uh, we have uh, Rawson has climbed up to nine goals out of his center back. 
Harvey White, nine goals, five assists from the midfield, and nine goals from Pilge also in the midfield. Seven goals, nine assists for Freer on the left wing, six and 13 for Gronley on the right wing. So we're getting a lot, you know, and then even five and six from Kai Kennedy in the number 10. So a lot of assist coming from playmaker positions, the crossing, the, the you know, playmakers in the midfield, but a lot of guys contributing goals. That is really good to see. I mean, three more players on the verge of double figures, and we've got a long way to go. We're only halfway through the season, so it's possible we can end up with a 30-goal score, uh, probably a 20 to 25 goal score, and depending on how much Hunter plays. And I can't play him as much as I would like to, uh, which is disappointing. I just noticed Hunter's no longer got that uh, fifth uh, star in his potential category. Um, weird. I don't remember signing any. I don't think we signed anybody. Uh, but we are coming up on the transfer window. Let's just take a look. I don't think I've got anything pending. Yeah, we haven't signed anybody. So um, anyway, all right, well, that's where we're at. We're playing Barnsley and Petersboro today. Petersboro United is our draw in the FA Cup third round. So we will get to them in our second match of the day. And that'll be right into the beginning of the transfer window. So let me know what you guys think of the run. We're on a pretty good run. Actually, am I mistaken? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, I thought I remembered that from yesterday. Is there an email in here? Uh, da, 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 da. We set a uh, we set a club record for wins on the bounce, and then we set a League One. Uh, record with 11 wins in a row and i think the record was 10 so we equaled it and then broke it so we are record holders now in league one for most consecutive wins so way to go forest green rock on rovers all right we are on the road barnsley today uh we have won both matches against them i've been playing the 4-1-4-1 uh, I've been using the same uh, technique, going ba uh, positive if we're the favorites, going balanced if we're not. And you can see we're starting to get a lot of partnerships going here. Collins and Kennedy are playing well. The white pills combination, Freer Brown on the left, Gronley Shepard on the right. In fact, that's the first time I can recall that I have had partnerships at every spot. That's amazing. I hadn't even noticed that, so way to go, boys. Uh, why do we have two players out? I know why, because everybody's tired. I'm going to put uh, Kitching in on the bench, and how about George Williams, I think? They must be under the 90% threshold. My traditional get creative in the early going. I have not, of course, I'm, I'm recording ahead, so I have not seen any comments from you guys, but I, I, I can't figure out what happened here. And that's not good. John Terrell, fifth goal of the season. Clark Adour with the assist on the set piece. We are in a 1-0 hole. I, I have given up so many set pieces. I'm going to come back to balanced. I have given up so many set pieces in FM20, it just drives me batty. And that's not James Batty, it just drives me insane. All right, Shepard cuts off the kick, plays it back. Don't lose it. Yeah, too long on the ball, damn it. And, oh, just flicked away with his fingertips. If he hadn't gotten hand on that, I bet that was going in far post. Does the run come to an end today? I hope not. But, every, oh, good tackle. Good tackle and a great block. Uh, let's give him a shout. Show some passion. There we are. All right, somebody's frustrated. Shepard punches it out. Ah. 
Come on, boys. Nice little flick down header from those guys. Good save, O'Malley. All right, let's go into tactics. Um, let's take off work into box. And I'm going to take off run at defense as well. I mean, you know, we do have possession, but demand more. Yeah, I was a little late on that shout. Jaden Brown's back from his injury. All right, uh, dressing room. Disappointing. Need you guys to play it calm. All right, um, Kennedy. All right. I don't usually do that, but, you know, I don't usually try to get everybody in green. I know there's a few YouTubers that do, and more power to them. But because he was red, I wanted to try to calm him down, especially he's playing worse than anybody else. All right, well, let's get back out there. All right, let's demand more here in the early going. Oh, God. Okay, Ooh. Thank goodness. What's going to happen? All right, Shepard. Are we going to build something here? Over the top. To Kennedy. In the, oh, he does not cut outside to get it. Woodrow beats our defender. Oh, we are on the counter and we get ripped open. Oh, my God. All right. I think we're the better team. We're going to go all the way up to attacking. And we are going to show some passion, please. Let's go ahead and make a sub. All right, Kennedy, let's pull Collins back. Let's bring uh, Ashley Hunter on. Let's bring, do I want Williams there, or do we? Let's take a look at this guy. I don't recognize the name. 19 years old. He's not bad. I don't remember him playing. Could this be a debut for him? Could be. So let's bring Pilge up for Freer. And then Freer will bring off for Galbraith. Let's do that. All right. Corner. Boy, they are putting the pressure on us, aren't they? Damn. We are just not getting much in the way of shots here. Gronley. Oh, header goes off the crossbar by White. Push forward. And Brown. Let's bring Kitching on over there. Actually, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. A oh, nice through ball. Oh, Hunter. Hunter got blocked. Damn it. All right, here's Kitching. We're just not in space. Oh, good save by the keeper. And he kicked out a play. Oh, boy, this one's dangerous looking. Ooh, pops over. It's going to be a corner, though. All right, that's a good header out to where nobody is, but at least it buys us a minute. Come on, somebody, be there. They're just beating us by a step. We look slow today. We look slow today. All right. Um, I still can't give a shout. And we've made we've made all three subs. Get it out. Oh, it was just down there at the feet. Uh, show some passion. 
Yeah, I don't think we're going to score two here in seven minutes. We have the ability to do it, but I kind of like the fact that we're losing at this point. It kind of takes some of the pressure of maintaining that winning streak off of us, but I don't like to lose. We will have a hard day in training tomorrow. They won't get the day of rest. All right, nice ball over the top. Hunter cannot get there before the keeper. McG oh, McGinley. McGinley will not talk contract with us. He does have another year on his deal, but he uh, he's he's upset that we have not improved our coaching staff, and I don't remember ever doing that, but... Uh, all right, nice ball up to Collins, who's playing forward. Hunter came way back, knocked away, and we don't get anything out of it. Mow it. Is that Alex Mowat, the former Leeds player? All right, Shepard. Cuts it in. There's Galbraith, lays it off. Good header in, Collins, that's number 19. And let's give a last push forward here. 89th minute, four minutes of stoppage. Nothing, damn it. Much better second half, but they, they, just, they just outplayed us. They just outplayed us. Oh, um, where is... Yeah, it is Alex Mowat. Yeah, the Leeds guy. Came through Leeds, played for them 16-17. This was actually before I was able to watch him on, on TV. And uh, so even though I, I was a Leeds fan, I didn't become a Leeds fan officially until... Uh, Let's see, we just finished the 1920 season, right? 1920, yeah. So that would have been Marcelo's second year, first year. So 17-18 was kind of the first year I was able to really watch Leeds United, Thomas Christensen and uh, Paul Higginbottom. And oh, my God, what a train wreck that was. But, uh, you know, I followed them enough to know the history and how bad they were and, you know, being down in League One and, and you know, uh, just uh, brutal. But, yeah, recognize the name, so uh, good little player, too. What's his ratings? He'd actually be uh, he'd actually be a pretty good central midfielder for us, would he not? He would be. Don't want to sell him. Yeah, he's on five. I mean, think about that. $565,000 a year. In League One, oh my God, these guys have to be going bankrupt. Uh, why they haven't sold him yet, I don't know. They've got to sell, you know, oh God. That's a lot of money on the books. Uh, yes, we're going to go full on aggressive. Uh, da, 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 you don't deserve a rest. Hand over to the assistant. All right, transfer window will be opening. Uh, here's the table currently with the uh, loss today. We're sitting on 54 points. We are six points clear of Charlton, and our goal differential is just uh, 29, plus 29 on Charlton and plus 19 on Rotherham. So we are we're sitting in a good position. Certainly have a long enough period of time that we could fall out here, but... We're in a good spot, so I'm I'm happy. I don't mind the lo the loss today, but uh, not happy. We'll see you guys for the next match here in just a second. All right, we are back. January second, we're playing Petersboro. The transfer window has opened. Uh, we have uh, made, done a little bit of business. We've sold one player. Matty Stevens is going to be going to Burton uh, for up to for forty eight thousand. Could increase to fifty four. He's valued at eighty five. I couldn't get any offers there, so uh, we're going to go ahead and sell him on. Uh, he is making sixty seven thousand a year, so that'll free up a little bit of money on our wage bill. Uh, Kai Kennedy. 
Uh, we've asked for another year on his loan. Rangers accepted, so uh, we will have him through the end of next season. Uh, we also made offers uh, for Pilge and Gronley, but they were rejected. Uh, Leeds and Bristol City are looking to give those guys shots uh, in their first team. And we have made a new offer uh, to Bristol City for Emil Kalsis for a free loan as our senior affiliate. And uh, we'll, we're waiting to hear from him. He can play. He'll probably be our starting left back uh, if he uh, if he accepts. We'll see. So uh, that's what's going on there. And uh, nothing else. Still, still early days. It's only the second day, right? So uh, we've got plenty of time. Uh, match preview. We are favored, so we're going to stick with the positive. Um, I want to start Hunter here. Yeah, Jaden Brown, Thomas O'Connor. I'm gonna start O'Connor back there. Let's do that. Little little bit of little bit of movement. Leaning a little more heavily on loans than I would like to, but you know, I think at this level you kind of have to do that. Especially if you're trying to be fiscally responsible, which I, I'm I, I am trying but it's not working. <laughs> Kennedy pounces on that. Uh, he looked like he was looking for a through ball. And Hunter, and he was off sides, but he hit the post. Oh, God, that was so unlucky. They didn't give him credit for a shot there, I guess, because he was off sides before the shot. Let's go ahead and get creative. The boys are inspired. We have a set piece. Gronley moves over to take it. Back post, Rawson sends it high. Come on, fellas. Let's get a breakthrough here. Near post. Pilge controls it. Cuts it inside. Tries to sneak it past Pim. I wonder if that's uh, the guy that, that uh, designed uh, Ant-Man. You know? You know what I'm talking about. Pim particles, man. Pim particles. <laughs> oh, look, what a chest down. He actually controlled the ball. And Kennedy's through. Takes the shot and sends it wide. Ugh. Not happy about that. All right, let's give him another shout. Um, bum, bum, let's demand more. All right, Pills is pressured. We do have a couple of yellow cards. Come on, boys. All right. Pretty evenly matched first half. Uh, let's see. Tactically, we're out of possession. So we're going to draw back to balanced. We're already doing. Let's take off pass into space. I think we can do that. Go out and prove a point. Both of our fullbacks. Sitting on yellows, so we'll probably sub them off at some point. Rawson. Plays it all the way back to O'Malley. Back out wide to Shepard. Pills. Oh, good cut inside. I like that. White's there. Laid off to O'Connor. Play it outside. There you go. Freer into the box. I don't know if that was a shot or if he was just looking to play it to the back post, but our attack was not there. All right, we're going to make a subage here. Yeah, we're gonna bring on uh, we're gonna bring on Collins. Fullbacks are playing well, but let's bring on uh, let's bring on. Um, I mean, Jaden Brown's our starter out there, so let's go ahead and bring him off the bench. Oh, sorry, already had it playing, man. All right, we need to get creative. We need a breakthrough goal here. Let's dial it up to positive. Come on, boys. Gronley on the right. George Williams, can he be a super sub for us today? 
Show some passion. Nothing. We played well, just no no real chances created. So disappointed there. And look, the league table disappeared. Hello, and I can't click anywhere in there. That might have something to do with the skin that I've got. Maybe I'll need to go in and try to reload that. Uh, and we'll sympathize. Don't know why. All right, so I think the goal here is to go ahead and finish out January. It'll be a long run, but I think that's the goal here. So let's come back for Rothram and Ipswich, two top of the tables. Lincoln Charlton would not be a bad one. Yeah, I'm more worried about the league this year rather than the Cups. Don't know if you guys agree with that or not. I want to get through the transfers, and then we can take a look at that. So plan for a transfer special next episode, and then going in with uh, Rothram. Well, what we could do is come back for Charlton, third and second, and then we'll actually wrap up transfers between those matches. We could do that. But what I'll do is if we if we continue a bad run of form up here, then I may come back a little earlier just just to you know let you guys see what's going on and see the bottle job starting to transpire. But uh, if we're if we regain form and we're still you know in the in the playoff hunt there, I think that's what we'll do. We'll either come back for Charlton Rotherham or Rotherham Ipswich. Um, either way, I think those are all good matchups. So that's the game plan. Don't forget to hit the like button, hit the notification bell so you get the updates every time a new video goes up, and uh, subscribe if you're new. Appreciate you guys hanging out, and uh, this time next week, we'll be watching some football again in real life, so looking forward to that. Uh, actually looking forward to watching uh, Calvin Phillips with the uh, England squad today. Hopefully he, he plays and gets his, uh, his debut for the national team over there. Uh, Fingers crossed. All right, guys. We'll see you later. Bye.